What's going on YouTube? Well, it's been, damn, it's been a month. Um, all right, so let's get right to it, okay? First, before I say anything, I wanna thank all my subscribers to my channel. I am this close from partnership, so from the bottom of my heart, thank you everybody for watching. I, I can't tell you what, I really can't even describe put to words how grateful I truly am. I'm just about there, so thank you, thank you, thank you. <clears throat> All right, so how to get your start in an oil rig on the patch here? Service rigs. Now, service rigs, I don't know anything about drilling rigs, so I'm not gonna talk about them other than what I've heard, but I, I I'm not speaking from experience when it comes to a drilling rig. I'm just talking about personal experience on a service rig. It's really, really hard work. You're going to be working 12-hour days. Um, you could be driving two, three hours to get to work and two, three hours back. Um, at the end of the day, you might have four hours sleep. Um, you're probably thinking, well, how do you function? Well, you have to. You just, you have to do it. I mean, it's as simple as that. Um, you might not like it, and uh, it'll wear the shit out of you, but in the end, you're gonna have to. So, if you're into this for the money, the only thing going on in your mind is gonna be, I'm not quitting. Not for anything. Not for nothing. I'm going to outwork everybody on this crew. I'm going to pick the hardest jobs. I'm going to do the most physical jobs that they give me. And if I get a chance to do something that's harder than everyone else here on the crew for six hours, I'm going to fucking do it. Because at the end of the day, when you're new, you're going to have to earn the respect of your coworkers. Now, I've done that. I've taken not taking the job of the Derek, but I've done the Derek's job for a straight day, um, throwing tubing up the board from the platform up to the floor. I did that 176 times, nonstop, no break. I just kept doing it over and over and over again. And at least three dozen times I was asked if I wanted, oh, wait a second, no, that's a lie. I did take a two-minute break to run to the trailer and smoke half of the cigarette, then I went back. Now, full disclosure, I did that mainly because I knew that Derek was tired and only had a couple hours sleep and he had a long night, so I kind of wanted to give him a break. But also, I want to get in shape by doing this shit, like... You know, I, I didn't come out here to sweep floors and mop floors. I didn't come out here to pick shit up on the lease. I came out here to work, and that's what I'm going to goddamn well do. Now, this is, I, if you're considering getting into this, I really, really can't stress this enough. This is going to be much, much harder than anything you've ever done in your entire life. Nothing you've ever done is even going to be remotely close. Okay? Not even close. This is going to be the hardest thing you've ever done by far. By far. You know? There's going to be moments where people are tense and seem pissed off for no goddamn reason. There's usually a really good reason. Now, I'm starting to figure out where some of that is and some, where some of it isn't. Um, for instance, when you're taking off a BOP and putting a BOP on, which is a blowout preventer, tensions are really, really fucking high on an active well because when you're taking the BOP off and you're putting it back on, or you're putting it back, you're putting it on, there's no well control. The well blow has a, has a blowout or anything. There's no control. It's you're fucked. You're in a real deep shit. And uh, ultimately, whoever the tool hand is on deck, 
is going to be responsible for that. And it took me, I think, what is this, nine wells now? I think it took me nine wells now to figure out where that tension is. And it's, <clears throat> it's simply because if shit goes downhill when you've got no well control, things are going to get real, real bad and people are going to be responsible for that. And ultimately, it's, it's the rig manager or tool push. So, you know, you got to be able to take shit. You got to, you got to be able to fuck it, brush it off and walk away and, and just keep working. You can't really take and most of this stuff personal. I mean, if you got a guy in your crew who's just being a fucking piece of shit and you know who you are, then whatever, just fucking ignore it. Do your job and fucking do it, you know, because ultimately being nice to the guy who's being a fucking idiot to you is just going to make him look like an asshole eventually. If you don't let it bother you, and he keeps treating you like a fucking asshole, and you keep treating him nice and with respect, guess who's going to look like the fucking asshole in the long run? He is. And if you're working as hard or harder than everybody on the crew, and you're fucking going all out, pouring your guts into the job, even if he doesn't fucking like you, he's going to fucking respect you. So, be prepared for that. You know, you, you're going to have to have a gas tank inside you that you never knew you had or you knew you had that you were ready to use. Because, and this is, you know, this is going, this, this work, you know, like if you're not prepared, you're, you're fucked. You're going to waste your time and your money coming out here for a job that you're just going to quit. Um, I'm an old guy. <laughs> Getting into this career at this age is probably the silliest fucking thing any of these guys have ever heard. I, I, I'm, I'm not even kidding. So if you're my age getting into this job, you're a fucking nutcase. <laughs> um, really, you're a fucking nutcase. <laughs> oh, oh, man. If you're 18, 19, and you want a job that'll uh, pay you 200000 a year in 5, 10 years, this is the career. Fuck college. But you're going to earn it. You're really, really going to earn it, man. So, get out here. Get ready to work. Get your tickets. Start throwing your resumes into the service rigs. I mean, because of this COVID bullshit, um, I wouldn't recommend going to the offices. But uh, I would recommend sending all the service rigs um, a resume. And then after about a week or two weeks, you don't hear a reply, call all of them. Every single one of them. <clears throat> So I just got back today from uh, a two-hour testing process with uh, one of the big five uh, service rig companies. They're also a drilling rig company. This is one of the biggest branches. Um, <laughs> I found out that uh, if I don't start using, sorry, my ears are ringing. If I don't start using hearing a or uh, Ear per, hearing protection soon there's a really really good chance that I'll be half deaf by the time I'm 70 so um, you want a job out here get your certificates get the hell out here start throwing your resumes in or like watch my other videos and I'll, you know, I'll tell you step by step what I did through the indeed through indeed um, or you go through oilrigjobshop.com, but since they decided not to sponsor me, I'm not going to talk about them other than just tell you who they are. Um, Facebook page is where you really, really want to start. Uh, service rig jobs for Alberta. You, you join the page, 
before you start sending your resumes and you're going to get a little understanding of the kind of work that you're going to be looking at. Pretty much every single one of them is going to say they want experienced guys. But if a company knows you want it bad enough with no experience, they're going to take you. See, the problem is there's companies out here who need 40 guys. Nobody's applying. Nobody. So there aren't just opportunities out here. There are really big ones. I mean, big, big ones. I mean, to the point where I was told, Ed, in five years, you stick with it, you could be a tool push. Five years. I've only been in this industry, like, just shy of two months, for Christ's sake. A tool push. These guys can make a quarter million dollars and up a year, you know? And I'm getting on in years, so I can't, I can't roughneck for another 20 years. So I got I to gotta figure out some shit. I got to make my money now, get in, bank it all, invest it all, and get the hell out. So, you want a job on a rig? Start with service rigs, okay? Service rigs are the way to go. Then you can move into drilling if you want later on down the road. Other than that, thanks again from the bottom of my heart for watching my YouTube videos. I can't tell you how much I love it. I'm almost partner. 40 hours away from partner. So if one of you watch my video 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, for the next 4 days, you'll help me be partnered. Thank you. <laughs> anyway... Go out there and chase your dreams, stay healthy, stay fit, keep your mind clear, and uh, get off your ass, go make that money. Get out on the patch, come out, out here with me. Maybe we'll have a, a fake beer together. You know, the Prohibition 0% Budweiser. From the bottom of my heart, thank you. Take care of yourself, and we'll see you soon, okay? Bye-bye.